Hey guys, Knoopsy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the emulator for Android L. So you can grab this for your computer, and it works on the Mac and the PC, and it should work on Linux as well. And it gives you a little chance to demo some of Android L's new design features, as well as test all your applications on Android L if you're an actual developer. So if you don't want to install this emulator version, as it doesn't have all the features as the preview version has, you can grab uh, the actual preview, developer preview for your Nexus 5 or Nexus 7 device, as it is more responsive than the emulator and also has more of the official features. So we're going to quickly go over all the new features in this little emulator for Android L, and I'll also include a link down below so you can download it for yourself and test it all out. So the first thing you're going to notice on the lock screen is the new time font, which looks pretty good I have to say, as well as the new options to unlock your device. So swiping over to the actual left of your device will activate the camera, while swiping up from the bottom will activate and unlock your device normally. So you can swipe through various pages on the actual home screen, and pulling down from the very top of the device will bring up the notification shade and quick settings toggle menu. On the emulator, it's kind of hard to actually pull down the quick settings toggle menu, but as you can see, we have some of the new options here, including the cast screen option as well. So the real purpose of the actual emulator isn't really for consumers to play with Android L, but more for developers to test out different applications and different settings. So you will have very, very old looking icons and old looking widgets, as you can see here. So one of the actual applications that was redesigned for this emulator was the phone application. As you can see here when it opens up, we have a whole new kind of color profile as well as the little dial pad uh, icon moves when you swipe through the various pages in the actual phone application. When you tap on this icon, it brings up the brand new dialer which also has a very very nice clean design and some new animations. So besides the phone, the settings is the only other application that's actually redesigned in this emulator. And it has a very very simple pastel look, consisting of just the greenish kind of color as well as the white and grey. Swiping up and down to the very very top and the very very bottom will also bring up this new little shadow type of animation. If you go to about this phone and you keep tapping and holding on the Android version, it'll bring up a little easter egg which is kind of similar to certain videos you can see on YouTube which just don't make any sense. So one of the last things to show off is the new navigation keys. We have the triangle to go back, the circle to go home, and the square for multitasking. So as you can see here, multitasking is a little bit different than the previous version of Android. It's more of a 3D kind of layout, showcasing the applications that you have open. And when you swipe up and down, it kind of brings the newest ones forward and pushes the other ones back on top of each other. So in this emulator version of Android L, you don't actually see previews of the applications you have open. But in the final version of Android L, as well as with the developer previews for the Nexus 5 and Nexus 7, you're able to see a little small image of what you have open. So if you enjoyed this video showcasing a demo of the Android L emulator, please leave a like down below, as well as also comment what you think about Android L so far. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.